I do that gig, yeah. all the English guys go, yeah, it was shit. Yeah. And there's one French woman who's saying it was a, she was basically going, it's a brave attempt or whatever. Yeah. But um, it was set up wrong. I, I tried to control how it was set up, and they set it up in an open bar situation. Yeah. Which I think is very French, but not <laughs> how I wanted it. I wanted it in a closed off area with just me and the gig. And since then I've been able to do it. Have you so practiced the Russian gig? Sorry? Have you practiced your Russian gig? No, I haven't practiced any Russian. My no? Russian is, is, is kind of zero at the moment. <laughs> but if you, if you know, if you look at the BBC online pages, which I would recommend, if you want to get pretty good politics, uh, look at the BBC online pages, because it's very global, and um, and the online page is all free, so look it up on that. But, the, you know, where Russia is at the moment, they, they, they feel they're being encroached on, upon by, by Europe. They feel they're being, there's some sort of attack going to happen, I mean, if not an active military attack, I think they feel there's going to be uh, the, a political attack of just just trying to overpower them with the European Union. But we're not trying to do that. No one wants to fight the Russians. So I feel it, it's, it's the perfect time for, for the time that somebody needs to, to go and do gigs to get to know the Russian people. Because I'm sure the majority of Russian people are totally moderate, like, the, like, like, like most countries. The, the people at the center of it are sort of just average people who just want to say hi and how are you and get on with it. So if I go and do gigs, at least I'll, you know, I'll learn the language. I'll probably my first few gigs will be terrible, but after uh, two weeks or three weeks, I'll get better. It's amazing. So that's what I'm going to do.